to go riding every weekend. We used to ride every Wednesday night. Besides us making noise, trudging through the bush, it was just quite peaceful and serene. Two minutes later, on the ground, after hitting a tree with my head, blacking in and out. Knowing something wasn't quite right, couldn't feel my legs. All hell broke loose. Pretty much from the start, you know, just lying in a bed, couldn't move. We were staring at the roof. All I kept on thinking was about me and the kids. Adrian, unfortunately, had a cervical spine injury. He's a level C6 quadriplegic. He did not have any elbow extension. Left hand was functioning a bit better than his right hand. He was still dependent upon others. Being a quad, if you got used to your arms, you'd love use of your hands. Just make life that much easier. Nerves can regenerate. The actual nerve cell resides in the spinal cord. And if we provide the right environment, the body will be able to heal that nerve, like a lizard growing a new tail. The product that we've developed um, has enabled us for the very first time to um, heal severed nerves or crushed nerves without plunging a needle into that nerve to pull it back together again. And so we've been able to use a tensionless and almost sutureless method to pull these nerves together. Using something like Celgro, we can put just one or two sutures to align the, the nerves, and then we can build contact using Celgro, which comes in a thin sheath. Uh, it has a rough surface which bonds to the outside layer of the nerve, and a smooth surface which prevents it from bonding to, to surrounded structures. For Adrian, we wanted to give him uh, elbow extension so he could transfer and utilise a wheelchair. So we spliced some of the healthy nerves that are working his shoulder muscles to the elbow extensors, the triceps. One from my deltoid, because obviously you've got a few nerves in there, and plug it into my triceps, into two muscles in there to make that work. Supinator, which turns your hand, extends your fingers, so it extends them out, and then your brachioradialis pulls your fingers in. Adrian's done particularly well. For a doctor, that's the best reward, seeing that people recover. If you don't give it a go, you won't know if you're going to see improvements or not. You've got nothing to lose. Doing wheelchair rugby, so I'd like to try and progress a bit more at that. So nerve surgery on my triceps definitely helped with that quite a lot. The kids are the number one priority, really. My daughter Piper still hopes that I'll walk again. I love them, love them very much. This surgery has definitely made a bit of an impact on me. To see those, those patients now and to have us um, view them, to be able to use their wheelchair, to be able to hug their wife, to be able to hug their children is a deeply satisfying thing for our company to achieve.